recuperar. We're back for another match day vlog and it's not very often that I'm going to get the chance to do one of these vlogs in front of the Liverpool team bus. We're here at Brisbane Road. It's the home of Leighton Orient in East London. Uh, Liverpool and Spurs today and Liverpool have been doing okay. They won their last game last week and they were beaten in the Conti Cup 4-3 against Man City on Wednesday night I think it was. A couple of Chloe Kelly bangers just did them out of it, but the good news is that Leanne Kiernan is back. And also good news this week is that Scott Rogers returns to Liverpool. The PA's taken off. Um, the big things really, I'm hoping that Scott coming back will kind of influence the substitutions a little bit. I thought the other night that Leanne Kiernan coming on was absolutely brilliant. She looked to have her speed. But she could have been left on a little bit with Tash Flint because Tash Flint was having an absolute bloody killer night. And uh, I was really sorry to see Tash go off. But um, yeah, Spurs third, Liverpool fourth. Spurs third, I think it's third. Currently, Liverpool are in fourth. This is going to be a good game. And uh, I think Liverpool really are coming into their own now. And they seem to be playing together with a team. As long as they start playing out from the back, not be messing around around the back and get the ball forward use their chances, take their chances and I think the fact that Leanne Kiernan is back, Mia Enderby can't forget, well done uh, Mia because scored a first goal for the club the other night but I think this is uh, something that we can really build on and I'm really looking forward to what the rest of the season has to hold so join me and we'll see how this game goes.
has just finished it's one all um, what do I say about that game it wasn't terribly enjoyable from my point of view Liverpool struggled um, Spurs definitely were on top for a lot of the game uh, Liverpool again just not getting out of the back not creating the chances just letting people sit in their own half for far too long the atmosphere wasn't half of what it was at West Ham either in the away end. Uh, it could have been because there were like, Spurs fans mixed in with us, but also, and I absolutely hate saying this, um, there was someone sitting behind us and they were basically throwing abuse at everybody on the pitch. Uh, Liverpool players, Tottenham players, um, there was one Tottenham player in particular they were given an awful amount of abuse to and the one thing I really like about the women's game is that everybody is the same, everybody is equal and that there's no discrimination and whoever that was sitting behind me, I hope I never see you at a football match again because you ruined it for me today. Um, saying that, I will be at Stamford Bridge next week and I'll always support the Reds, um, but I, I just don't understand why someone wants to go to a football match and complain for the whole time, uh, whether it's about the people on the pitch the referees, the people around them, uh, complaining if people are going in and out with their kids or whatever. That's just don't bother going to the game as far as I'm concerned. But apart from all that, 
um, up the Reds. Great to see Leanne Kiernan just lining out and uh, doing her warm ups, even if she didn't get on the pitch today. And I'm um, looking forward to Stamford Bridge and to Chelsea next Saturday. So, uh, yeah, join me then. We'll see how it goes. And uh, come on, you mighty Reds, you never walk alone. Yeah. 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 Yeah.